Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. I'm back to you from uh, basically right where I left off. So the the stress is on me to not to not botch. Secret right of sanctuary. Oh, well, good. Granted, that doesn't help me level up. And like, again, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like. It does make True Sanctuary... Well, now what do I do? Do I just wait? <laughs> it does make True Sanctuaries have more value, of course, but... Like... Was anyone doubting the, the like, strength of a Sanctuary? There was a problem in Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 has uh, areas that were developed separately from one another. Okay. I, I, I figured that there would be an ambush. Later, guys. DS3 has areas that were developed separately from each other. Oh, you can get around it that way. That's kind of cool. Um, and what's more, bosses now leave bonfires on death. So, this this is a thing where um, at the start of areas, game devs will put a bonfire because there should be a bonfire there. It's the start of an area. So how am I supposed to get down here without getting got? Eat, eat, eat. No way. <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, yeah, so in Dark Souls 3, some areas were made with... without considering that bosses drop bonfires. Um, there was also supposed to be a bonfire crafting subsystem where you could make a bonfire. And that's why the very first thing that you do after beating Udix Gundare is, um, you use, uh, the, you, like, just plop the coiled sword into a bonfire that's, like, 90% done. You just put the sword in there. The reason that you do that is because... Oh, there's nothing over there. What? Guys, come on. The reason that you do that is because um, they made the animation for the whole crafting of bonfires and then didn't want the animation to go to use when they cut the whole subsystem. Okay, cool. Ooh. My damage isn't bad. I can kill them with one heavy. I feel like I haven't been able to do that in quite a while. So I'm happy about that. So let's remember for ourselves where this led. Over here. Oh, this might be a safer way to get over here then. Hmm. That'll probably kill me down there. Which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, whoops. I was definitely talking about something. I've totally blanked on it. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the whole system of, of bonfire making and like how that got cut. So the thing with that is um, you have areas that were made without consider poison, poison, poison. Okay, so this is the start of the area. So maybe if I go right here, I'll, uh, I'll have a thing that I haven't seen yet. Man, fuck you. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> okay. Works for me. Ring of Vile Vines. Well. I guess I should just like go sit, cause like, ugh, too close. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Oh yeah, I, I think I could, maybe I should take one of these off. File vines, increase defense to poison. put that on oh that's interesting the point I'm getting at here is that Dark Souls 3 has several improperly placed useless bonfires because like they put a boss at the front of this area that you can't get in and then the boss drops a bonfire and then right afterwards they put a bonfire at the start of the area because you need a bonfire to put at the start of the area. And, like, that's just how they do it. But, like, it's it's just a weird, like, misuse of bonfires. But this game doesn't have that. And so I feel like I don't really need... Um, I feel like I don't really need the weird little half sanctuaries to appreciate a sanctuary. Also... I don't know if I've said in the past, these things take too long to come back. God, okay, fine. I'll go somewhere else. I won't. That's a lie. So is that all that's over here? That's, uh, that's all that's over there, huh? What could I have done? <laughs> I was just being melted. Slay my killer. The the lake? <laughs> I <laughs> oh yeah, I just I never realized that I could just go this way, huh? Yeah, the thing about having, like, weird little halfway houses for, um, like, the ability to rest is just kind of annoying. Like, like, I don't feel like it's, uh, it's useful. I was using the wrong thing to heal. Okay, so it doesn't say Slayer Killer, so hopefully it'll be a little closer to me now. Yes, I'm aware that a mysterious cleric revives me. Can I get this show back on the road? But yeah, because you want to always be using a new, like, a new sanctuary so you don't waste all your salt, like, having bonfires that heal you but don't, or sanctuaries, mm -hmm. 
Having sanctuaries that heal you but don't uh, let you level up or buy things means that, like, they're just kind of hard to use properly. Because, like, I feel like I have a good deal of uh, health and, and healing items, you know? Even with my 9, the only reason that I've run... Like, with my 9, I should say. The only reason that I've really run out is because I needed more juice because I was fighting uh, poison, you know? And that's that's different, you know? Like, with, uh, like, Dark Souls-style Toxic. Like, those are those will make you run dry uh, real quick. For me, I'll be right back, but for you. All right, and I'm back. So yeah, I feel like I'm just not sure of, of why shri I guess they're called shrines, I think. I think I saw that on the wiki. I am using the wiki, by the way, just to expedite my progress. Um, What should I push for? I guess I can just go this way and get more pouch, right? I wonder what I should play next. I've always meant to go back and finish that stream of Dark Souls 1, but honestly, like, I could just as easily start Dark Souls 1 over from scratch. Dark Souls 1 is one of those games, you know? So, because now, now that I'm dealing with stuff that has more... Sorry, finish my thought process. Um, I'm thinking that, like, maybe it might be good to have, like, more Dark Souls. Because, like, I enjoy playing it. And with Elden Ring coming out, it's going to be a pretty hot topic. Really, guys? I may as well just sit. Who cares? Um, but yeah. One thing is that I am still recording on my lappy, and like, it's good lappy. Dude. Uh, but it will chug with more modern games, and like, I want to avoid that. Uh, like. I know that Dark Souls uh, is still not particularly modern, and like with mods to make it run better, like it can be pretty solid apparently. But like honestly, I'm kind of feeling like going straight to Dark Souls. Will you get out of my way, please? I feel like it might be good to go uh, to DS2. So. What does this get me again? Right, this brings me over here. Oh, there's candles over there. That means boss usually, right? Please. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like like playing Dark Souls 2. Really, I feel like I should be able to grab that, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, huh. But yeah, I guess I'll work on getting like a better PC soon, but like because my videos aren't currently monetized, for me at least, they are for other people. 
uh, it's difficult for me to justify like a new PC when this one works fine. I have a good friend who might be able to help me with that, actually. A couple good friends, in fact. Oh boy. So how should I try getting over there, huh? Guys, please. So that's what you can get done with the uh, the slash. Interesting. Please go away. That's all. I wonder how I'm supposed to get over there and get that thing. I feel like, again, like, I, I did talk about this uh, briefly, but I feel like the amount of health that you lose is a little too much, especially considering how much, like, healing you can actually get done. Is the, is the paddle up there, like, nudging me off? Like, I feel like these things take too long to... Maybe that's what's happening. So there was a thing over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, good. I thought it was worthless. My heart charm and a sack of salt. Red hair charm. Attack power. It's the red tear stone ring. Lightning damage. MP drain, I think. Heavy poison and poisons its user. Oh, that's kind of useful. What did I have on before? Leech's HP. And attack speed and range. Those are my go-tos. But yeah, again, I do think that the uh, idea of losing permanent health for the next, you know, th little bit is interesting. But, um... I feel like there's a lot more ways to do it and make it feel fair or interesting. Like, for example, if you were able to get your health back after healing, if, like, overheal could give you more juice, like, I feel like that might be better, you know? Because, like, there's definitely a lot of good things in this game. There's a lot of good pieces of design. There's a lot of good work done here. Oh, I need juice. But there's just, like, a few things where they're just, like, not balanced like I would like them to be. They're just a little much, you know? Any second would be great.
I hope this maintains being watchable. I assume that it is. I know that a big chunk of, like, enjoying Souls content is seeing people fail. Like, nobody wants to see somebody be middling at Souls. They want to see people get their ass kicked. Or alternatively, they want to watch crazy cool speedrunners do a bunch of, like, you know, world-ending god slang. But those are those are the two big ones, you know. Actually, considering the fact that my heavy will kill Maybe it might be good to, uh, push strength some more. Actually, what is- where does this lead down here? Oh, this is that, right. Dude, you can't do this to me. Alas, you shall lose this shit forever. Go to hell. Oh, they're called saltless, right. Didn't I fight these guys earlier? See, another thing is that, like, if you don't care about getting your salt back, then you can use the little sanctuaries. Again, I want to say shrines. You can use those... But, like, if you want to keep leveling up, then you need to stay at a, at a regular full sanctuary. And, like, again, the same thing is true with the, uh, the money. Like, if you don't care about losing money, then you can go back and... And, you know, do stuff at a, uh, at a, like, shrine, but, like, you lose out on it, you know? Like, maybe that's just my problem. There's a lot of stuff in this game to make it harder, but not as much to make it easier, you know? Dude, you can't do this to me again. You did it. There's a lot of stuff where I'm like, why? You know? Like, because a lot of times there have been game development decisions made because the, because it's different, you know? It's, it's never... There's a lot of things where it's not that it's better. It's that it is a different thing and it feels different, you know? Like, there's a lot in uh, the Souls series alone... But there's been a lot of games with- why do I even bother coming this way? It's not better. Ugh. But yeah, there's a lot of, like, changes made just for the sake of being different. Like... Devil May Cry 2, one of the most easily derided games of all time, is different for the sake of being different. Like, definitely. There's a lot of games where they just decided to make a change, and, and the whole, like, defining thing behind that change was, you know we wanted it to be different. We wanted it to feel different. And sometimes, like, I think that's even facetious. Oh god, guys.
Like, if you're just changing something just to have it be different, then, like... I don't know if, how justifiable it is to call a game, like, by the same title. Guys. I don't know why I'm trying to get my salt back. I don't have anything I want to do with it. I want to get more strength. But there's never not a reason to get more strength. Oh wait, can I take it down? That'd be kind of interesting. Maybe that's a thing that I can do. Also, this takes too long. Like, at this point, I'm acutely aware of what happens when I die. I know that I lose the salt. I know that I must return and slay the killer. And I know that a mysterious cleric revives me for some of my money. A lot of people would say that this would be the kind of thing to be fixed with a mod, but like, I don't know if I agree with that. I think that games should come out in a way where they're playable without modding them. And like, just saying, oh, we don't need to do this because the modders will fix it. Like, that's, that's inherently lazy, you know? Saying, I'm not going to put this feature in my game. Why? There's no... Is there ever a good reason to do that? Ugh. I'm just trying to see if I went over there before. That's all I want to do. Because I need to, like, scrape this area in order to find out where I'm supposed to be going, what I'm supposed to be doing. Stop. Stop. Just let me... What's going on? I've put my sword away. I've got to go all the way up. That's annoying. I'm starting to remember why I didn't, like, record this for a bit. any reason to be over here. There's nothing over here. Now would be a good time to remember that a more confusing and hard to beat game doesn't necessarily make it better. One moment. Not that you would notice. Alright, back in. Before anyone asks, I am still enjoying this. I was advised to go this way, and like, I haven't actually seen anything over here. But there are apparently dudes. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, there's stuff. Ah, uh, but yes. That's irritating. Yes, I'm aware that a mysterious cleric robs me. So is it like worthwhile to put something on to try to like mitigate this? That's defense to poison damage. That's interesting. So it's not even that I take less. Oh, there's a spring trap there. Just, I, I want there to... The bloodstain being a, a, an enemy that can attack you is kind of an interesting mechanic sometimes, but sometimes it just is a bother. It just makes the game more annoying. Like, I feel like for how cool that is... Where's that trap as well? Did I just miss it? Oh, hey. You're in the waters. Hi there. Like a drinky? Check out a tavern where things get fishy? I'm fond of you. You fond of me? Yeah. Mm. I like you. Let you see my things for sale. Name's Alder Griggs. So I'm smart, I think. Like Al Griggs fix? Like a slap? Shop? I paint faces. You ever drink pest mud out of a boot? Hmm. Okay, at first I, I thought that that might have been an old Greg reference, but now I'm pretty sure. Antidote, huh? Forest Fang. Tart Doll and Frozen Doll. Its memories can be used by a... Oh, cool. I'll get these just to blow my money on something, you know? We've seen ya. Cleric's Kite Shield. So is there anything else over here? Huh, maybe not. Weird, okay. Cool. All right, so I'm back up here. There's a little area where this happened um, because I want to sit at the shrine sanctuary because I didn't really like finish exploring this part out. Uh, and like now I can theoretically kill a little better. The problem is that, again, I have so much salt that, like, I'm just at a very high risk of, of losing it, you know? Because, yeah, apparently, I guess I just didn't spend enough time over here. Really? It is... It's so dark. How would you ever notice that over there? I guess you might just think, hey, I should go back because I haven't been over here yet. Like, but like, it's so dark. How is that? Ugh. Is that on me? I don't know. Am I in the wrong? Maybe. Yippee skippy, I'm back in this, this shithole.
Oh boy. Well, there he goes. Uh, goodbye, sir. Oh. He, like, came to my defense. That was kind of interesting. Okay, so... Maybe this is a faster way to get where I'm supposed to go, you know? I've also got three gray pearls now. Okay, endurance is equip load. Stamina. See, I thought stamina was... Like was the, the green bar. Okay, let's start getting some points in strength. I have the ability to get a lot of those. In fact... I'm hitting the correct button, or am I not? Let's even sink some more in this way, you know? If I can't get that pearl back, that's okay. Oh, did I buy up all of his salt pouches? Yeah, let's find a big salt. That's it. How about that? Will that give me some more? Again, that's it. At the very least, using them doesn't drop you out of the menu. And I'm not sure if Dark Souls 2 would come out by the time this game's development had started, but Dark Souls 2 solved this problem because they just let you... get stuff, you know? They were like, oh hey, you want to use that? Well... Lucky for you, you can just hit use this many, you know? Alright. More strength is always good. That's what I want to see. And then I'm going up in this little zigzag. Right. Nope, that isn't right. I got this awful rap song that my fiance showed to me stuck in my head. I feel like, was were there three before? Like, wasn't that three swings? Because if I'm not doing three swings to kill them, that's pretty sweet. I do say. Okay. See, I usually run these for like 40 minutes, but like, I, f I feel pretty good about where I am here. Let's do, can I jump over here? God, I can, I could the whole time. That was my confusion. It was that I didn't know I could do that. And what are you also? One at a time, please. Wow. Well, now his bronze axe knife. Now he's even stronger. Yippee skippy. Um, 
That should do it for this episode. Sorry, I just realized that I've been, like, falling off screen. Uh, that should do it for this episode. I feel good about the progress that I made at the end, although the salt got a little real there. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I've been Alpha, this has been Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, I recorded three episodes in a little burst. You may be able to see that my shirt's the same color. Um, and that my beard is the same length. Uh, but yeah, feeling good. Doing good as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred, Salt and Sanctuary. Again, ignore my salt. I don't like this area, but the rest of the game is still very, very good. Um, this game is definitely worth your money. And like, if you got it for free, it's worth your no money. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.